channel today. Today I am doing my top five eyeshadow palettes that I recommend and this video is a collab with the beautiful Emily Olsen here on YouTube. I will have her channel link down below. She will be doing her top five favorite foundations so definitely go check that out. Her channel is filled with routines and reviews just like I do. You guys will absolutely love her. She is also a writer on The Gang Magazine with Nobel Noor, Nikki Philippi, Carly Christman, Shayna Walker, and the list goes on. So definitely go check that out. I will have that link down below for you guys as well. It is a great read, so I definitely recommend it. So make sure to go give Emily some love on her channel and let her know that I sent you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to her channel as well. She's really, really sweet, you guys. I know you will love her. So let's just go ahead and get on into my top five eyeshadow palettes. All right, so for the first palette that I'm gonna talk about is something I've already talked about a lot, I know, but I, again, this video is my top five eyeshadow palettes, so I had to include it, and that is the Cap On D Shade Light Eye Contour Palette. You guys, I know I've talked about this. This palette is amazing. You've got cool tones, you've got warm tones. These shades up here are perfect for transition shades and to blend with. This palette is absolutely amazing. This is a necessity in my collection and I see myself reaching for it every single day. Even when I'm creating looks with other palettes, I always go into this palette for a transition shade. I love these two ones up here. So I definitely recommend this palette. It is for sale at Ulta for $46. I know it's pretty pricey, but the quality of these shadows are absolutely amazing, you guys. They are so pigmented. I am absolutely in love with these shadows. They are so gorgeous and they're so easy to use and they're so blendable because I don't know about you guys, but I'm still trying to learn how to do different eye looks and it makes it so much easier to create and achieve different eye looks when you have a good palette with good eyeshadows that are easy to work with and blendable. So I definitely recommend this palette. So the second palette that I recommend is the Tarte Tartlet Palette. You guys, this is raved all about on YouTube. It's no surprise that it's in my top five. This palette is absolutely this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. As you guys can tell, it's got a lot of cool tones. They are all matte shades. I have definitely been reaching more for mattes over the shimmers. I finally put a shimmer on my lid today, and that is the Cap On D Super Shock eyeshadow that I got from Sephora, from my Sephora haul. But I have been mainly gravitating towards my mattes. I don't know why, I'm just so into matte colors, and they're perfect for fall time too. So I definitely recommend this palette. These eyeshadows are so creamy, they are so blendable, they are absolutely gorgeous, they are extremely, extremely pigmented, you guys. And there's such a variety of different shades in here, like ombres, that you can really create a really cool eye look with. So like, you have different shades of purple right here, so, so you can definitely use the shade right here as a transition, and then kind of deepen it up a little bit more with this one, and then put this on the outer V. You can do that with so many colors in this palette. So it's very versatile and I definitely recommend it. You can get it at Ulta or Sephora for $44. And again, I know it's kind of pricey, but it's worth it. I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Okay, so for the third palette that I recommend, and that is one of my favorites, is the Lorac Pro Palette. And this is the first one. I don't own the second one. I need to go pick that one up but I definitely love the first one, you guys. My favorite shade is this one called Gold right here. It reminds me of Amber Lights or Kathleen Lights from ColourPop. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. These eyeshadows from Lorac are so creamy. Like, they are one of the best formulated eyeshadows I have ever used. I love them over any other palette, honestly. I don't know what it is about the texture, but they're just so smooth that I just fall in love with it, but they do give a little bit of fallout when you're doing the shimmer, but it's not that bad. But I definitely do recommend these. You have a range from your neutrals, your warm, your cool tones. You can create so many looks with this palette, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And again, it is so sleek. But this is a very light palette, which makes it really easy to travel with, and you have a range of colors. So you can do a day look, and then you can go into a night look with it. So when you're traveling, you only need to really bring this palette and you can make so many looks with this. Go from neutral to more of a smoky. You could do so much with it. And this palette is cheaper than the other ones and you can get this at Ulta for $42. For my fourth favorite eyeshadow palette is yet another Lorac Pro palette. And this is the Lorac Pro matte, you guys. And this one is so gorgeous. Just look at these shades right here. Oh my goodness, just check those out. They are so pretty. They are so perfect for fall. I love this burgundy. I really want to create a fun look with that burgundy. Just look how pigmented that is. 
like holy moly you guys that is like super pigmented so again the shades are very creamy they're very blendable they're absolutely gorgeous you have your neutrals and then you can go into a darker eye with using these ones from these corner so gorgeous okay so this next palette i have never seen on youtube and this palette is the smashbox palette and let me see what version this is it's the smashbox master class palette color and contour you guys this one is absolutely amazing. It is a little pricey, it's $65, but when I open it up, you will see why. You can purchase this online at Sephora. I don't think they carry this in stores. You have to go online, so I will have the link down below for you guys. But you open it up, and this is what it looks like. Like, okay, you can just see my ring light right there. Because right here, it's got these clear covers over the shades. So let me lift those up. So as you guys can see here, you have more of your neutral everyday shades on this side and you have your very colorful shades on this side. And down here you have two bronze and contour shades and then you have a highlight and then you have three different tones of blushes. This palette definitely has everything in it, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous and plus, the shades are also so, so pigmented. They are absolutely gorgeous. Let me go and swatch. Here, I'll swatch this violet one. It's so hard with my nails. But here's the violet color. Look how pigmented these shadows are. They are also so creamy, so blendable. They're not patchy or chalky. They are gorgeous. And I definitely love this palette, especially if you again, if you're traveling. The only bad thing is it's, it's a pretty heavy palette, but you have everything in here. So I definitely think this is a gorgeous palette. The reason why I purchased this palette was because I wanted some fun colors and this one gives me both of them. It gives me neutrals and fun colors for if I want to play around with makeup. So that's what I love about it. But also these neutral shades. I mean, gosh, Topaz. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite palettes. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And, and again, you can purchase this online at Sephora for $65. I know it's pretty steep, but just look at all the stuff that you get in it. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you have these covers to help protect them. And it's in this nice little book that you just close up like that. Okay, so those were my top five eyeshadow palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that some of these palettes are very expensive and I'm sorry about that. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and they have absolutely amazing quality. But if you guys have any drugstore recommendations for me, please listen down below because I have yet to find a good drugstore eyeshadow palette that isn't chalky, isn't patchy. So I would love your guys' recommendations so I can kind of branch out and kind of go for a more of an inexpensive route with my makeup. So I would love your guys' recommendations for that. And don't forget to check out Emily's channel and make sure to subscribe to her and check out the gang magazine as well. And if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.